Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Seb Shirts channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about new shirt releases. Yes, I am going to be talking about mainly Arsenal, but obviously there's other teams as well, but to just the seemingly infinite amount of releases of shirts that teams are releasing today. I think this is coming light of the new Arsenal release with the Underground. Um, I think it's T C L T F or something like that. Um, obviously they've just released a new collection but the reason why i'm making this video is because we literally just released a collection just the other it seems like the other week uh, we had the team g collection release we also had the uh retro re-release of the away shirt with the the lovely sweater. i really love that collection just get the card out of the way at first but like this new one another one it's like damn um I'm a, I can't sound a bit hypocritical considering I myself have fallen victim to the capitalism that is football by repeatedly buying Arsenal shirt releases, including the home and away third shirt every season. Um, so it might be slightly hypocritical me making this video, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because it's kind of. I don't know, it's not annoying, but it's like, it's just insane that um, Adidas and Arsenal keep expecting fans to be shelling out 60 to 100 pounds on new shirts, sweaters, trainers, seemingly every other month on top of home and away and third shirts, considering most ordinary people can't afford to be buying these products. So the fact that they keep releasing ones over and over again to me it's just insanity especially with current form like i know this might be seem a bit salty because this is just filmed after the burnley game but i don't know it's just a bit a bit much to me um yeah it's just especially on the back of some results and you're already frustrated and then you go on facebook or any other social media and you see that arsenal's released a new collection it's just can't you just sort out on film on-field issues first and then leave it's just expecting fans to keep shelling out time after time on new shirts when they already have perfectly good shirts already i know as a, a football shirt collector it's nice to have the new shirts because there's more to buy there's more to add to the collection but i don't know it just seems i like them i was very excited when they were released bruce banana back in 2018 but it's just something it's not as special when you keep doing it over and over again. I've always not been a big fan of PSG and their Jordan collab because to me it always seems like that, I don't know how to word this, but their collection is always, it's more fashion orientated, it's a lot more, it's, the, it's a lot more geared towards them making money, let's be honest, because most people buy PSG shirts isn't necessarily full shirt collectors or PSG fans, it's more aimed at the commercial market uh, and I don't really like that. I know it's a bit stupid because people own these companies and it's still a company uh, but uh, so they need to make money but it's different. A football club is close to a lot of people, a lot of people have passion, they put their heart and soul into it and for it to get capitalised like that um, isn't great, especially it's fine for like fans with money because it's like oh great i could buy some new shirts but the normal working class fan i don't know it's a bit it's a bit much for me especially because it's like the big the fear of missing out it's like oh new shirt collection and then people f want that they can't afford it they're not going to buy fakes anyway so i don't know i just think it's a bit much i think yeah i love a new shirt release especially the re-releasing -re classic shirts is great i'm all for that but not doing it so frequently a new shirt release oh my god like who thought it was a good idea who looked at a bus seat and went damn i really want to wear that like what and the the pictures look like it's from a horror movie set or something because they're wearing these weird ass masks this is just because thomas party was at afcon and they went we really want a minute whack this mask on i don't know but yeah if you want to go around looking at looking like a bus seat or a train seat yeah go ahead <laughs> i know it's meant to be like a train the train collab because we're the only football team with a station 
but yeah, no, I'm not a big fan of this design. Uh, it's unique. I like unique stuff. It's not a bad colorway. The blue works quite nicely, but damn, they could have done a better photo shoot for it. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm not a fan of that at all. It's not. It's not even just Arsenal, though. Like I think the main culprit of it is definitely Napoli. The amount of shirts Napoli releases is insane. It's like they're on their ten thousand shirt for this season. It's insane. They release like how many Maradona shirts at this point? It was like that collection of eight. Then the really nice one was when it just had Maradona on the back and it was striped like the Argentina shirt. That was lovely. They could have just left it there. It's like they're leeching off this guy's legacy, essentially his death, to make loads of money, which I also find a bit suspect. Um, but. Yeah, and then they've just re-released another shirt on top of the Halloween shirt, then all the Maradona shirts. It's just like, especially because they're expensive shirts anyway. But the amount, I know it's like, oh, you just buy what you can afford. But to a lot of people, a lot of people who have slight addictions to things and they really want the shirts, they could seriously harm themselves by keep spending money on all of these shirts. So, but yeah, it's just insane it's absolutely insane but yeah that's that's my thoughts on the topic guys but yeah if you have any thoughts as well just whack them down in the comments it's just going to be a short little video just because i saw the shirt release um and i just wanted to give my thoughts on it really uh, but yeah thank you guys for watching uh peace out